Hi everybody, so this is what my hair is looking like currently. Um, I figured since I'm doing a review of the products um, for red hair, I might as well show you kind of like a progression of what it looks like after I've been washing my hair. So as you can see, the color is still vibrant. Um, down here at the ends, it's kind of faded a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So it's still it's still red, but it's definitely faded a little bit. Um, I I've washed my hair twice since I've had it done, and um, each time I did experience a little bit of color loss. Um, so far, it's not that significant. I do find that I'm not using the Avita um, Matter Root Conditioner as a conditioner. I'm using the um, John Fre Oh, excuse me. I'm using the John Frieda um, shampoo and conditioner for red hair. And then when I get out of the shower, I wring out my hair completely and I um, kind of work the Matter Root from Evita throughout the hair, um, comb it through, and then I put it up in a bun and I let it sit there for 15 minutes. Um, and then I go rinse that out. I just find that um, if you do it in the shower, the first time I did do it in my shower and it, it stained my shower. So I'm going to have to try to scrub to see if that will come off. Um, but it doesn't really look like that's going to happen. So if you don't have a porcelain tub, if you have like a fiberglass tub, I do not recommend using the, the uh, matter root from Evita because in the shower at least because it's going to make a mess and it's not going to come out. So if you have a porcelain tub, I think that'll be fine because stains usually come out of porcelain easier. Um, but with a fiberglass tub, that's not going to really work. So I just wring out my hair so it's, you know, not as wet and I take it out and I, out of the shower I put down a towel on the floor and then I kind of just work it through my hair then and put it up in a bun so it's not dripping um yeah so that's this is the I guess this is two weeks two weeks since it's been done I'm not really sure I'll have to look at the date um yeah so this is what it looks like um I think it's about two weeks yeah it's been about two weeks now so Hopefully I can make it to my next appointment without having too much more fading. Um, I'm obviously going to be expecting a little bit of fading coming up, but hopefully I still have some color coming in. I don't have really bad roots. So, um, yeah, this is the week two update and the second time I've washed my hair. So, talk to you guys later. Bye. I said I was going to post a video a month later and see how my hair goes. Uh, this is... A little less than a, mo uh, a month it's like three days less than a month right now so um, I just figured I do it now when I'm in the mood to do a video so here it goes um, as you can see my hair is still red um, the color itself has changed a bit um, it seems to be a more vibrant red now because of the conditioner that I was using from Aveda um, or Aveda whatever um, that matter root conditioner has done wonders. If it wasn't for that conditioner, all of my color would be gone right now. Most of my color that is you're seeing is from that conditioner. Um, you put it on, and I've been using it as a treatment, so I leave it on for 30, 40 minutes, maybe up to even an hour. The other day I did forget that I had it in, and I had it in for about an hour before I washed it out. And... Um, it does a really, really good job of keeping your color red. So pretty much, you know, it's lighter. It's way lighter than it was, uh, obviously, when I first had it done. But the only really, the big sign of um, growth, I guess, would be, or the change of color would be my roots. And on this camera, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to see the roots too bad. Um, it kind of seems to be blending in, but... Trust me, I have like a quarter inch of roots going on here that's not very pretty. So um, I'm loving the red color. It's very hard to take care of though. I, I seem to really hesitate um, to wash my hair every day. It really scares me. Um, just the thought of washing it every day and seeing the color go down the drain just really, really makes me paranoid. So I haven't been going to the gym. Um, because I don't want to wash my hair every day. So I, you know, to be honest, I haven't been going to the gym at all. But when I st do start going to the gym more, um, it'll only be on the days that I wash my hair. So that's kind of 
a downfall to having a vibrant color in your hair is that you can't wash your hair every day or that color is going to go bye-bye really fast. Um, also, I'm really, really careful with the products that I use on my hair. So I'm using only that John Frieda shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then I use the Matter Root conditioner from Avita. Those are the only products I use on my hair. Um, I use some styling products, but as far as um, other conditioners or treatments and things like that, I stay away from them. Um, like I said, I'm probably just overly paranoid, but it's better to be safe than sorry in my book. Um, yeah, I just really, really like the color. Uh, it's obviously, like I said before, it's it's more red now. Um, it was really dark when I first had it done, and um, but now using the conditioner and having it rinse out quite a bit, um, it's just it's a red. It's it's a red. What I really like about the Avita colors, though, is that it's very professional. So even though my hair is obviously red, I still can go to work and not feel like I'm some punk rock, you know, person trying to be career minded. I don't feel that way at all. Um, it just makes me feel fun, but at the same time it makes me feel professional too. It's not so over the top or so far from a natural color, I guess, or a natural red that I would feel kind of self-conscious about it. So I'm loving that. Um, the wear this time, the color definitely stuck um, to my hair better the second time around um, that I had it dyed because the first time it completely washed out. So um, hopefully when I have it done again next week, um, it'll it'll take even more and uh, I'll have less washout. But um, even if that's not the case, the conditioner, I highly recommend that conditioner. I don't use a shampoo from Avita, the, the Matter Root. I only use the conditioner, and I use it as a treatment, not as a conditioner. So I use the John Frieda uh, for reds, uh, the shampoo and the conditioner, and then the treatment I put on when I'm out of the shower, I take a nice, generous amount of that, and I work it through all of my hair, um, roots to tip, and... Um, yeah, that seems to be doing wonders for me. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever, except for the fact that I can't wash my hair all the time. So I've been using Lush's um, Vanilla Puff, or whatever it's called, um, dusting powder for my dry shampoo, and that's been working really well. But this, towards the second day of me using that, um, I just can't stand my hair feeling dirty or just product left in my hair. I, I can't. Ugh, it just grosses me out. I can't do it. So I end up washing my hair every two to three days depending on how dirty it is and whether or not I can get away with using a, a dry shampoo to kind of make it look better. So uh, yeah, that's going to be the review for the Avita Red Hair. Um, if you're looking for a good place to get your hair dyed um, a vibrant color, definitely go check out Avita because the hair dyes are going to be better for your hair and um, they're excellent there. I highly recommend them, um, and their products are awesome. So, yeah, that's going to be the review, and I don't know. Just stay tuned. My hair will be done next week, so I'm sure you'll see that next week. Uh, bye.